Okay, let's go again. Right, Rapala 292283. Uh, so can I climb back to 2200 with a bit of luck? Uh, actually, let's just get some stats on this guy. Um, 2216 Fide, apparently. Yeah, his bullets, bullets okay. We'll let King's Gambit for fun. Um, <clears throat> sometimes it's good fun. More fun than other times. Uh, Queen check invitation line. It's not going in for that. Okay. I'm going to play for h4 here. Knight f3 and h4 for knight g6. Uh, he plays bishop e7, I suppose, to stop h4. No, he hasn't. Okay, so maybe, just maybe. Ah, he's weakening a bit. Stuff. So is f7 a bit weak? Looks a bit of fun here already. Uh, okay. Mind you, g4, bishop g4 look a bit dangerous. I kind of get away with this. Bishop g4 now, this might be queen d3. Okay, if I take care. Oh, he's got knight g4, but then bishop f4, I get the center. <clears throat> I suppose he could play queen g5 and sack the knight. Check. I don't know if that's convincing. Bishop g4 is also dangerous. Uh, I don't know what to play there. Queen d2 looks like the only move. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, should we just examine earlier? Did I just blunder while he's thinking h4, h5? Knight G, didn't he have bishop g4 here? I suppose there's bishop e2. Okay, okay, going back to the game. Alright, so queen d2 now, queen f4. Then I might actually be threatening queen g4 and rook takes h8. Ah, nope. So my piece is just blocked in, okay. Can I try and win back a pawn here? There's also c7. So queen g5 is knight c7 or knight f4. Uh, one of the options. I think knight f4 looks good for a moment. So if I play knight g6 here, unless he wants double pawns, anything stronger. Bishop f7 doesn't seem to do much. Rook h5, I don't think that does much. Uh, okay, so knight g6. Okay, so now I can put the queen more central on f7 on d6. I'm going to just castle. I mean, that's a good position. <coughs> castle, bishop d2 to c3 or something, or just. Uh... Okay, so for the moment, that bishop f7 and queen g4 there it takes rook h8, doesn't do anything. So I think just castling. <clears throat> Got a good time advantage here, about a minute. That's good. Um, okay, F file pressure. One of the perks afforded by this opening. Okay, can I just get my other rook into E1 and play? Uh, Maybe for e5. Rookie wants e3 to g3. There's another idea. Okay. Also, bishop b4 here looks tempting. What does he do about bishop b4? Is he sacking a pawn there or something? Bishop b4. He's going to play e5. No, I think our bishop b4 looks good. If he sacks a pawn, that means this pawn is free to go to e5. Chase away the knight. It's got d5 though. So c5, um, yeah, c5, okay, he sacks a pawn. Um, okay, he hasn't sacked a pawn. Right. So what about c3, bishop c2, that sort of thing, or e5, just e5 actually. That gains a bit of space. 
put pressure on uh, d6. Also f 7s under fire. If he takes takes rook e8, that's bishop f7. Okay, he's giving up the exchange, which okay he gets a Petrosian type blockade, but it is an exchange, which I'm not totally sure. I thought I should go for it. Okay, I can't stand that much worse. Surely, if I just reinforce the centre, so 96 maybe just drop back and try and get the rook quality up. Uh, as I've noticed from the recent over the board game, if someone sacrifices the exchange against you and uh, like rook for knight or something, try and get your rooks. Make sure you can try and get your rooks the quality uh, up. So here, can I just double them to increase their quality? Or takes bishop c2. Does that do anything? Queen g4. There's bishop f5 there. There's queen h4. Takes. I don't think that's anything. So he's actually he's going for uh, bishop e4. So rook f3, bishop e4, rook g3. If knight g5, maybe rook g3, knight h3. I can just take. So rook f3 maybe. So knight g5, rook g3. Okay, stopping that. Um, yes, that's a pain. Ah, right. G3 here. There's bishop e4. Um. I don't like to go a bit passive here, but bishop e4 is on the cards. Let's not use up too much time with this. Uh, bishop e4, okay. The attack begins, uh, unfortunately. What about bishop d1 to f3 to try and neutralize the attack? That's good. I think the queen as well. Perk bonus. Okay, get rid of this guy. Actually, bishop f5, there's bishop d5 now. Or bishop h5. Uh, bishop h5 here is a decoy for the queen. Just to get rid of that bishop, that pesky bishop. On f7 as well. Okay, so that's small simplified. The rooks seem the quality of the rooks is not bad. The knight, okay, it's a blockading knight, but uh, I can get the queens off here. Okay, the, the knight is actually threatening to do damage now. Keep the rooks open. Maybe rook f4 threatens rook e4 anyway and hits the h4 pawn if knight e4. So rook e4 and rook h4 threatened. Get another pawn. There's rook e7, there's rook d5. I'll just check which. I don't think it does anything on e2, I hope. Uh, so knight e4, I can just take. Uh, there might be e6 now and just get the other pair of rooks off. So e6. For e takes, maybe, is better. Keeping that pawn there. So I can play rook h1 to h8, or rook h8 of king g7. If knight g6. Okay, he's resigned here. Cool. Cool. I had a bit of a walk before this game, by the way. I had a bit of car issues. I had to take my car in, I think. I don't know if the engine was on the way out or something, but uh had a bit of a walk. I feel a bit. Uh, I hope you detected that from the commentary here. It was a bit livelier than usual. Than earlier. Um, I quite enjoyed that game. Hope you did. Uh, comments or questions on YouTube? King's Gambit is a dangerous weapon, it seems. Thanks very much.